Hey, uh, welcome back to another Desmos Craft tutorial, and we are back in uh, the City Craft. Uh, one of the few things I want to mention is this character that we had right here. I intended for it to be a little shopper or a worker who's going into this building. And I'm noticing a few problems with it. First, it is really, really small. Uh, and uh, you probably um, experienced that with me if, if you're graphing it along. Um, and also, if you do a high comparison, he is also taller than this door. Uh, so, so, for those two reasons, I don't see any reason to actually have him here. Uh, and for that, and uh, yeah, I'm going to. I want to get rid of him, but don't worry because uh, I want to get started on on doing characters on a larger scale. And how we're going to do that is I want to move into uh, what's called uh, surrealism. So I'm putting characters in places that they don't really belong, but our justification is just going to be its surrealism where it's supposed to be there because because uh, we meant it for not for it to not belong there so we just forced it there uh, so uh, I can put a few links down in the description for for what surrealism is and maybe some example paintings of them uh, I, I know a few good ones Oh yeah, so I'm planning on putting something of a, uh, where would be a good place to put some characters. So um, I want to start simple with just like with just a character with just like a face in the sky, or and um, I mean we can start with with just using circles and ovals for uh, for facial features, but I feel like I've been doing that too much and I want to go to something more interesting so I can probably move into like a more of a clown direction so we'll still use circles and ovals but the face is not going to be just like a plain circle you'll it'll have some extra details in it um, so so to start I want to put this clown like up here so uh maybe center the face over here so the clown that i'm going to use i don't have a, i don't have one on top of my head but i'll i'll find a picture that we can go off for next week um so a half circle well if you don't remember it's the so if we start with With the uh, general equation of the circle center at the origin. Radius. We can't see this because, because um, I scroll way past the origin. But I can move it up here to 20 by subtracting 20 from y. Now we can see it. And we can adjust the radius however we like. So for me, this is too big. So maybe three. Let's look. Choosing between two and a half and three, I might end up with 2.75. I, mean, I don't like that number. It's too weird of a number. Okay. All right, can go with that. Hey, and uh, I don't want this. Okay, I'm not going to just solve for y because is I want some part of the half circle here, of of uh, this bottom half right here. Um, and one of the equations that we can use. This is this is a a rotated ellipse. As 
x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 1. This is at the origin and show you what it looks like. Oops. I'll put a uh, I'll put a slider to move it. So now I need to change one value. Put it at 15. This is what it looks like. And this might be another one of those squared equations. Might not be. What if I put this at? Okay, so in this case, not I'm not entirely sure myself on how these graphs now this particular shape works, but this size compared to this size, I'm happy with it. I can easily use this for cheekbones. So I'm going to change the y zero just so we know we're changing the y value. So So we're impacting every single x value. We'll put these around those two. Uh, it's going to be minus and this is not I mean, these constants are, are not um, conventional in math but it, it, it makes it makes it more meaningful so we know what, what we're what we're modifying. Um, it's usually x minus h and y minus k. So I'm going to move this. Oh, there should be. Okay, I already, I already accounted for the fact that it's going to be where a negative is to the left and right is, to, to, and right is positive. So these are two equations that, that I'm going to be, be uh, working with. Um, I'm going to keep this one relatively short. Uh, next week, uh, I'll be, I'll be uh, talking to you about, about uh, these sliders. The slide values around, around to where you want it to be. And so instead of just talk to you about things that don't really matter too too much um, and just graphing around uh, I'll, I'll provide you more details next week so uh, just to get you started uh, we have a, we have a circle uh, and then we have and then we have a rotated oval uh, that, that seems to be by 45 degrees. So these are the only equations I'm going to use. Uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to... I did a minus. Well, I did the trick. Okay, and instead of positive two, instead of negative two, positive two, and I'm going to leave it right here, and uh, and uh, next time I'll show you how to work around these things. Uh, because I'm because uh, I don't really want to show you how to actually graphic clown, even though that's what we're going to do. But it's more like how to choose your equations. So with that said, uh, I will continue next week.